Awesome, Lol. You were the cutest girl at the bar when you worked with me, Lol. I hope life has been treating you well. Lol, thank you. It hasn't been too bad lately. Oh, good. Do you remember working with me? Lol, yes, I do. Lol, you silly lady. I had a major crush on you. Sorry, didn't mean to be weird about it. I did, though. I was just too shy to say anything. I hope life is treating you well, lady. Lol, when I met you, someone so bragged that you were a virgin. I thought it was rude as hell just so you know you were always a really cool person so for what it's worth you're good people <laughs> lol i don't know what else to say to you be well take care so what's your number <laughs> hello <laughs> lol hello are you there lol pick up your drink order lol i scared you off i was gonna ask about the mugs you make you've always been such a pretty music nerd i hope whoever you find appreciates that about you welp never mind <laughs> lma it's 1am and we're watching a movie. I don't always have my phone on me. Well, why the hell not? Sorry, I'm just messing with you. What movie are you watching? If you don't want to mess around with me, that's all good. I just had a major crush on you. We're watching Incredibles 2 and about to go to bed. Haha. <laughs> Lol, nice. Lol, how's life been treating you? Once again, someone said that you were a virgin when we met. That's the last I remember of you. Aside from you being really nerdy and pretty. And here you are. Lol, I hope life is treating you well. I know it's a weird request but can I call you babe? You've drove me nuts for years lol. Let me call you Never mind. You do remember we hung out a few times way after working a bullseye's ride. And no, you can't call me at 2am. One, there's no reason. And two, I'm in a relationship. Oh, of course I do. You've always been cool people. <laughs> and that was the end of the conversation, apparently. How many times did that guy say, I hope life is treating you well? <laughs> I counted like three, four times, surely. Sorry, but like, did someone's cat take a phone? Like, who were you talking to there? <laughs> he repeated the same things over and over again. A little bit of it was creepy. Like, you could tell that he was being polite, but he just didn't know when to stop. And he said lol like 4,000 times. I don't know what to think. On one hand, it could have got way creepier. A normal person would know to stop messaging somebody when they only respond like three times. And you've sent how many messages? 40,000? Guys, welcome back. Hope you're having a great day so far. Thank you so much for tuning back in. Yesterday, we checked out the creepy asterisks, and today, we're checking out some more creepy private messages. I'm really excited for this, and I hope you guys are too. Thank you so much for being here, and I know I said in yesterday's video, thank you for 2,000 subscribers, but guess what? Thank you for 3,000 subscribers. It doesn't even feel real at this point. I don't understand. <laughs> I may sound like I have a lot of energy today, but it's literally just because I'm so damn excited. So yeah, if you're a new subscriber to the channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy your stay. Thank you for being here. We're a big happy family here and we explore the deep dark depths of Reddit twice a day. So yeah, why don't we do that right now? Let's jump into some creepy private messages. Can I watch you pee yourself in a video call? Uh, no. Understandable. Have a good day. At least he was polite about it. <laughs> and like, he's not too delusional either. Like, yeah, it is very understandable that somebody would want to do that. I like it when they understand how creepy they're being. But in a way, that's even more creepy because they know that they're creepy, so they should probably stop being creepy. I guess it's not a competition. They're all creepy. Hey, I just want to let you know that the guys you were hanging out with last night at the bar are goddamn ugly and they don't even come close to me. I just love how you were all over them. We just met and you're already all over other dudes. That's great. First of all, I told you I was going to the bars to watch the Pens game with my family and friends. Those guys are my brothers. One of them just turned 21. Also, my older brother and his girlfriend were there. So I don't know how I was all over them. Not to mention, if you were at the bar, we agreed to meet. Why didn't you come up and say, hey? Oh, is so you going to make me feel stupid and blame me? No, screw you. You should have been waiting for me at the door. Congrats, you just missed out on something great for your brothers. You were too big for me anyway. Seriously? Bet you're mad now. Haha, <laughs> have fun having nothing and blocked. This guy's not even creepy. He's just crazy. <laughs> so all of this was about some guys that this girl was hanging out with at a bar that were her brothers. <laughs> and you're having a hissy fit because you think that she's like, what, cheating on you? That guy would 100% be a nice guy. He'd be like, oh, all of you girls are the same. And she's literally saying to his face that those guys that he thinks are like, what, his competition are 
are her brothers. <laughs> oh, all girls are the same. I always treat me so badly, even when obviously she isn't. Dude, figure it out. <laughs> Howdy. Bye. What? Thumbs up. What? LMAO. Forget it. I shouldn't have bothered. Yeah, I asked you to add me, but Jesus. Okay, whatever. If you were like this, you should have said so in the first place. Like what? You're getting all annoyed with me because I didn't respond in five minutes because I was getting ready for bed. My world doesn't revolve around you. Like, literally get over yourself. Whatever. Well, screw you. I don't deal with fake. Screw you once again. You can read stuff but not respond. How fake. I don't know why you said add you when you're fake as hell in real life. Goodbye, you blank. Look, I'm sorry, okay? Thought we could be friends. If you weren't interested, why didn't you say so? I didn't respond for literally five minutes. You are completely overreacting and it's sad you don't see what's wrong with your behavior. I'm not interested in being friends anymore because you crossed a line. What? Maybe this is why being friends is hard. No one gives a chance. I gave you a chance and you blew up on me for not responding within five minutes. I don't think other people are the problem. You are. Look, I'm a really nice person. I can be the nicest person you ever meet. I'm willing to apologize rightly if you're willing to give me one chance. No, thank you. Pathetic. <laughs> oh, pathetic. You're so pathetic for not putting up with my crap and being a reasonable person, aren't you? Seriously, bro. You are in denial. You're the problem. This girl was away for like five minutes getting ready for bed. She even said that. And you're flipping out? And then you have the guts to be like, oh, you just should give me a chance. <laughs> bro, you're the issue here. What's up, lol? I need a ding-dong pick. My friend never experienced one and I need to show her, lol. Uh, what? Please, lol. I'm crying. No, that's so weird. Come on, man. Ha ha. Just tell her to download Tinder, lol. We don't have time to waste. I'm not just sending you a picture of my ding dong. That's a little bit creepy, but it also makes no sense. Apparently, this girl was asking for a favor, and all she really wanted was a picture of this guy's ding dong to show her friend, her quote unquote friend, that hasn't experienced one before. And there's a little thing called the internet. You don't need a nude from this random guy. <laughs> like, that's almost as bad as that post that we saw the other day that was like, I'm trying to get back on my, it was like my brother. Something like I was trying to get back on my brother for doing something bad. So please send me nudes. Oh yeah, this makes so much sense. Here you go. Here's my wheelie. Like, I don't know how you expect that to go down. It's not going to work. You're just going to end up on Reddit and we're all going to laugh at you. I might be overstepping my bounds by asking. And if so, then please tell me. But I think that it's time for a nude. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not sure it's time for a nude. No, I meant several nudes. Like four or five at least. No need to tell anyone. But I've always just been curious. I've always felt like you would look really good naked. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think that I am. <laughs> Ah, you think you're overstepping my bounds. Yeah, probably. G'day, buddy. I know we've been friends for a little while now, but I just I really think you look good naked. <laughs> Please show me. <laughs> no, I meant several nudes, like four or five at least. <laughs> I want them in different positions, in different clothes, with different backdrops at different times of the day, all in 4K definition. Please send them right away. I have no idea why I think that you should be sending me nudes, but nonetheless, hurry up, let's go. And you know what the icing on the cake is for this? They haven't spoken in five years. <laughs> I know I might be overstepping my bounds by asking for nudes. Yeah, maybe bro. Try again in another five years. Hey, can I talk to you about something? Yeah, what's up? So I came home early today and I heard you. What do you mean you heard me? It sounded like you were having private time and I couldn't help but overhear. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I didn't think anyone was home and you work nights. I didn't realize. This is embarrassing. It was unintentional. I'm sorry. It's cool. No big deal. But I'm just letting you know that I will be home now at night now since I was just cleared to work from home. Okay, good to know. Sorry again. It's fine. So is that it? Sorry, I'm at work. What do you mean is that it? I thought everything was discussed. Wow, just wow. So you're at home after work. I'm at home all the time. We both can't go anywhere right now. And even when I bring up what you've been doing, you still pick a toy over me? That's just low. Um, what? Are you implying that I should bang you just because we're both at home and you heard me earlier? Because if you are, you must be out of your damn mind. It's a rational solution. You wouldn't need to use toys anymore. Low, I think I'm I'm good. I'd rather bang a cactus. You stupid blank. This conversation isn't over. I think it is. I'll be staying elsewhere and I'm sending this conversation to Mike. It's his house. We'll see what he says. <laughs> Whoa, that's a bit of an overreaction. We had a disagreement. Why are you involving other people? There's no need to do that. You need to calm down. Just forget I said anything. Please, just forget it. No need to do anything drastic. Oh my god. <laughs> so this is someone's roommate that's watched one too many videos online and they think that... <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Ew, yeah, please move out. Yo, 
duck. Like, what was he thinking, too? Did he think that was actually going to work? Like, he probably thought in his mind, like, oh, yeah, I caught her doing this. So all of a sudden, she's just going to bang me. Dude, that's not how it works. And I'm worried about you. And I hope you sort your stuff out. Be honest, do you like my ding dong? It has potential. It needs to be circumcised, though. Should I get you a scalpel? Please don't. I'm Jewish. That's the rule. Here's some scissors. You really want to see that tip, don't you? It'll be quick. Pick two. Girl, you crazy. Hold on. Ah, uh, what? Get some rubbing alcohol. I'll take care of the rest. Okay, stop it. I love when you beat them at their own game. Like, you came to her being all creepy, showing her your ding dong and stuff out of nowhere, and you freaked him out enough to make him stop. That's awesome. It is the perfect response, though, seriously. Like, you can't put up with that sort of crap. Like, I think the best thing to do is have fun with it and then just block them. Obviously, some of these shouldn't just go on Reddit. They should probably go to the police. <laughs> but I love how much fun these people have responding to them. And she's like, I'm Jewish, that's the rule, and sends them pictures of scissors. And then he comes back with another photo. Like, okay. Like, dude, nothing can deter these creepy guys. Hey, it's the locksmith. I'm just sat in loads of traffic, so I thought I'd message you. I know it's a bit quick, lol. But screw it. Why not, eh? You would was killing me in that dressing gown, you know. I've been single for ages. I was sure you would have had a boyfriend when I asked for your number. Don't know how nobody has tried to yet. But when I was doing your door and you sat on your bed with them legs, I wanted to grab hold of you. I had to stop myself. I think you're fit as hell, by the way, in four years. You're the nicest looking woman I've ever had. XX. <laughs> have a good day. Oh, God. That's weird. It's your locksmith. But you gave him your number also. So, like, maybe he was, like, really attractive but he was just creepy I, don't, I want to know some backstory here all we know that this person's housemate had to hire a locksmith and that was him obviously you shouldn't be saying I wanted to grab hold of you and I had to stop myself that's awful and I hope you weren't being serious and you shouldn't say that anyway but like yeah I guess she's not going to wear a dressing gown when the locksmith comes over next time <laughs> Jesus Christ I'm never going to get a locksmith we have about 20 models at present and we're expanding yeah I'm just not comfortable meeting people sorry no worries I had to ask though as you have a great portfolio. We also specialize in drowning. Bit of a fetish where we basically tie you and drown you for about eight minutes. Once you expire, we revive you. We pay $22,500 for each session. Ha ha, screw that. Ha ha, what worries you? Death? Are you serious? Would you like to see an example of it? It's a safe activity. Dying and reviving someone is a safe activity? Yeah, it sounds like zero risk for sure. We have some footage of pressure sessions. It's totally controlled by medical professionals. Professionals? Okay, so when they pass out, how do you stop their lungs filling with water? It's not. When they pass out, they're out of water. Water can't go into the lungs. It's a process called indirect drowning. Because you're conscious, you won't breathe in. When you pass out, we bring you to the surface. Most people's reflex when they're drowning is to gasp for air. Yeah, but you can't because your larynx is closed. You know, you're underwater. Okie dokie. Holy crap, you're interested? I am not. Sounds absolutely horrifying. But don't you think that's hot? Won't you get off to knowing you're helpless? Every model says it. No, I'd never put my life on the line for money. Trying to hold your breath for much longer than this, especially underwater, may be dangerous. After you have passed out, the body's natural response will take over. You will gasp for breath, or you may stop breathing altogether. Either way, if this occurs underwater, you are at serious risk for drowning. It's actually for a strong orgasm, and the gills all would risk dying for these Petite girls tend to have the better lung capacity, haha. <laughs> okay, what is your breath hold? I don't know, not long. A minute? Probably. So we'd have you tied for about four minutes as you wouldn't drown until about three minutes thirty. Trust me, haha. -ha. You'll surprise yourself. Interesting when after three minutes without oxygen there is likelihood of brain damage. Many people can hold their breath longer, but you wouldn't be able to. One minute brain cells begin to die, but survival is possible. Three minutes serious brain damage likely. It'll be too painful beyond that. You may give in after two minutes thirty. Depends how scared you are. Some girls really go on for about four minutes and then they expire. Do you want to see more videos? Honestly, you're not convincing me whatsoever. I have zero interest in erotic asphyxiation. Do you know anyone that does? No. You should try it though. Have you tried it? Yeah, loads. I bet you 22,500 you'd be back for more. We've literally made these girls rich. Okay, well leave it for them. How much would you do it for? Not for a million. Well, we wouldn't pay you that. Haha. <laughs> if we did, we'd defo leave you down there. Cool, you sound professional. To be honest, I won't lie. We would have left you under much longer, ha uh ha. -huh. Basically, we would have tied you and thrown the key in the bin. Right, I'm gonna contact the police now. Enjoy your day. Jeez, take a joke. 
You call drowning someone a joke? <laughs> Dude, is this thing on? Tough crowd today. There are a lot of people that aren't that funny in the world, man. But anything would be funnier than that. That is not a joke. Like, that is so awful. How do people get these people messaging them on Instagram and stuff? Like, it seems like it's so common to get all these creepy messages. I haven't had anything weird ever. Not saying I want that, obviously. But, like, god damn, that seems like there's a lot of these people out there. I can't believe that. That's a new one. Paying girls to... Obviously, they wouldn't actually pay anyone anything. To drown them for eight minutes. And then they revive you. Oh, that's so sexy. Jesus Christ. I hope you're safe. You single? You you got a man? Yes, that's a shame. I think you're very cute. Okay, don't be that way. What? I said you were cute. I know, you told me not to be that way. No, I called you cute and you said okay. So? You guys not say thank you over there? For what? Your opinion? Screw you and everybody who may resemble you. Okay. Okay, bro. <laughs> Grow up. Just because you creepily quote unquote compliment a girl doesn't mean she's going to be all over you, you big weirdo. God, what do you expect being so creepy? I know this is is random, but Dom or Sub? I guess Domino's. I don't go to Subway that much. Don't see why you'd put them in the same category. <laughs> Me neither. Domino's any day of the week over Subway. Are you kidding? A sandwich or pizza? <laughs> it's not even a question, is it? See, that's a perfect example right there of turning a bad situation into a good one. I don't want a bar of your creepiness. Let's talk about pizza. Let me make you feel good. No thanks. Okay, sorry, from where? The UK. Okay, WhatsApp? Nope. Expected. Will you marry me? Nope. <laughs> Expected. Can I leave? Sure. Expected to. Okay, bye. Bye now. Stop messaging me. I won't. I love you. <laughs> Is it some random person and you're asking them to marry you? Yeah, cool, bro. Love you too. Thanks for talking to me. <laughs> it's so sweet and romantic that you won't leave me alone and how creepy you are. I just love it. It's making me fall in love love with you. I don't know how these guys can be this dumb. They can't actually expect something good to come from this, can they? What is a girl of your beauty doing right now? Working at the moment. You like Big D? If Big D stands for Big Donut, then yes, I love Big Donut. Despite it being a fictional place. You like Big Donut in your blank? I can't say I'm a fan. Donuts are for eating, especially when you get them fresh. Do you like this glazed donut? I'm pretty sure you're confused. This is a glazed donut. Do you like Big Donut in your... <laughs> what, bro? I feel like most of the time they don't even know what they're saying. What are you talking about, bro? You came into this trying to be all sexy and stuff. Now you're talking about putting donuts donuts in places. I do understand why these people respond to these sorts of guys. They're crazy and it's fun to make fun of them. Why weren't you at class today? I was sick this morning. Weird coincidence. If you hate me or something, just grow up and tell me. I woke up with the flu. It has nothing to do with you. We barely know each other. Lol, last time I checked, we do know each other. Are you forgetting about what we talked about? No, and I'm not interested in talking about it again. It's almost winter break. Can you please drop it? Fine, if you really just want to run back to your goddamn BFF, like always, go ahead. That's right, I saw you today. You were walking around with a shirt that I know is his band, not even sick. So why are you lying to me? I left my dorm for food. If you're going to keep talking to me like that, just stop texting me. In fact, just stop texting me. We have a class together and I would hate if this got worse than it already is. I don't want anyone to get in trouble. Who's getting in trouble? I haven't done anything. Unless caring is a crime. Stop. We don't know each other. If I don't know you, then why did I let go of my anger when I saw you walking with so-and-so's band on your shirt? The shirt was too big, by the way. You looked cute in it. Every time I look over it, you all I see is how beautiful you are. I know how much you hate when everyone says you look like a girl, so I'm sorry for pointing it out again. I've literally never seen anyone as pretty as you. I'm not just saying that either. I love your height. You're so short and small that it makes my heart melt. You have such sweet doe eyes. I wish you looked at me with them more. Your freckles are just so precious, and I love how they make you look even paler. Everything about you is so adorable. You're perfect. So don't you dare tell me that I treat you poorly. That's not fair of you to say. Oh my my god. Dude, get a life. <laughs> what a creepy idiot. That's so annoying. Like, dude, this girl wants nothing to do with you. Take a hint. You're just embarrassing yourself. Oh my god, that's so bad. <laughs> Yuck. Oh, that's the perfect time to leave this video here. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I think I delivered on this video. They were some really creepy private messages. I had a whole bunch of fun today, guys. I really hope you did as well. These people are driving me crazy, but it's also pretty funny. Right, let's do the comment of the day. Today's comment of the day goes to Wildcard 
Kelly. I just found your channel yesterday and oh my god, I love all of the videos I've watched so far. Keep it up, man, but don't be afraid to take breaks and stuff. Thank you so much. Seriously, that means so much to me. Thank you for your support and I'm really so happy you enjoy the videos. Guys, I have so much fun making these videos. You have no idea. This is my dream job, what I'm doing right now. And also, thanks for saying don't be afraid to take breaks. I'm not going to take any breaks anytime soon, but if I ever do get burnt out, I will take a break. Absolutely. So thank you. Guys, that was a roller coaster ride, wasn't it? I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you smash like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below what you thought. And guys, guess what? Have a lovely day. Have a lovely night. And I'll see you tomorrow at the exact same time with two brand new videos. I'll see you guys then.